Hey, BT staff and family, it's Carl Remarsh. I, I'm back. <laughs> I guess my story before was the kid out of nowhere. I guess this time is more important. It's more serious. It's about a kid who has a dream. It's about a kid who wants an opportunity. It's about a kid who wants to be able to show every young person around this world that anything is possible if you believe, if you dream, if you stay positive, persistent, if you pray, and just work hard. So I'm back with my fresh new demo tape and ready just to... Ready to show the world and ready to get a chance to be the next host of BT's 106 in Park. <laughs> Welcome back to BT's 106 in Park. Today we are joined by Jerry Lindell, who's going to tell us about a very special student by the name of Carrie Marshall, who's chasing a dream. So, Jerry, how are you doing today? I'm doing very well, sir. How are you? Oh, I'm doing good. It's just a good day. It's good to see you here, and um, thank you for taking time out to come out and and, and do this and speak to these uh, young people out here today. My pleasure. Glad to be here. All right. The young man that we're talking about today is uh, is Carly Marshall. And can you tell me um, how you first met Carly Marshall or how did you two hook up in the first um, first meeting? Mm -hmm. I first met Carly here on campus, UW River Falls. Um, Carly approached me. He was producing and working on a show here on campus. I think it was called Focus on You. Mm -hmm. And he approached me. It was during uh, Black History Month and asked me if I would agree to participate, be interviewed on the show. And uh, I agreed to do that, and he brought me into the studio, introduced me to people, and we went to work. <laughs> My first meeting. <laughs> you went to work right away, huh? Pretty much right away. I think I had maybe a couple of days' notice. <laughs> what can you say about Kari Marshall that when you look at him, a young man that, that came into college and, um, and came and approached you, especially being a freshman, what can you say about him that stood out that, that was different from everybody else? Well, one of the things that stood out right away, um, as you mentioned, he was a freshman, is that he approached me. Uh, most freshmen, that first year of school is spent getting used to being at a college. It's no longer high school. It's no longer I can play and put things to the side. It's taken very seriously, and there's a lot of adjustment, and that takes up the majority of their time. Carwee still had time and energy, however, to pursue a dream that he had, and was able to approach me to help him advance that degree, that dream by appearing on the show that he was pursuing. That stood out right away. Wow. Um, and when you look at Kari Marshall and all that you, um, I noticed you guys have worked on different projects together from BSU to, to television to campus events. Um, what is it about Kari that, that, that you like the most that when you, when you, mention his name or somebody mentioned his name, you can say, man, that kid is what? Persistent, genuine. Um, Karwi is uh, passionate about what he gets involved in. Um, he pursues it with a goal in mind and doesn't waver from the goal. As things come up in his life, uh, changes happen as they do for all of us, um, they don't move him from the goal. He may spend some time working on the things that come up and the things that change, but once those have been addressed, he swings back, right back around on target for the goal. Sounds like a very driven individual. I'd have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know we ask a lot of serious questions, but on a more of a lighter scale, um, can you give us a, maybe a funny story that we probably would never get to hear about Carly Marshall or, or a moment where you will never forget or just a memory that just keeps you going and laughing when you, when you, when you think about Carly Marshall or he calls your phone like, what is it that's going to stick that's just going to be like, wow, that's always a funny moment? I can definitely give you a funny moment, <laughs> funny, a funny, let's say, experience with Carly. Initially, when I meet students on campus, I usually will have them call me by my first name. Um, which I tried to get Carwe to do also. But Carwe insisted on using my last name, so I was always Mr. to him, with a mispronunciation of my last name. And I had to work with him constantly, call me Jerry. I finally moved him from one mispronunciation of my last name to another version, to another version, to finally, we are now Carwe and Jerry. Now, the one thing that I haven't been able to do that may add an element to this is Carwee has a nickname that I never use. <laughs> I call him Carwee. <laughs> Can we get that nickname or are you just going to keep it under quiet? I'm going to keep it under quiet. <laughs> you need to meet Carwee and you ask him. 
<laughs> All right, well, Jerry, thank you for coming by, sharing that great story about Curry Marshall, and thank you for taking time out. BT's 106 and Park, don't go nowhere. We'll be right back with the number one video. Waka Flocka and Nicki Minaj is going down. All right, that was my demo tape. I'd just like to thank everybody for taking time out their busy schedule just to take the time to view it. And I'm just ready to get to work. I'm, I'm just a young man that just wants an opportunity, that wants a shot, that wants to be able to work with young people, show them that anything is possible, and also host one of the best, not one of the best, the best music countdown show in the world. BT's 106 and Park, continue that rich tradition, bring excellence to the network, and take it to the next level. It's Carly Marshall, the next host of BT's 106 and Park music countdown show. Yeah! <laughs>